Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about flipper zero uses you did not know existed. I'm going to woo, throw them at you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So the first one is scan pet RFID microchips. One of the technologies Flipper Zero supports is RFID or radio frequency ident identification. The same kind of tech often used in microchips implanted in pets. Pet owners use these chips as a way of identifying their animal should it ever get lost. And with the Flipper Zero, you can read the data implanted in a cat or dog you've come across. Embedded data should then help you get the animal returned to its home. Don't 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 be stout just stealing animals, people. Okay. Next, we have start a Pomodoro timer. The Flipper Zero doesn't necessarily need to interact with anything else to be useful. And one of the ways it can function on its own is as a Pomodoro timer. That's the productivity technique where you can work for a set time, then take a break for a set time, then repeat the process. If you use a Flipper Zero for the job, you don't get the distractions you do from uh, a phone or a web browser. Uh, and it's made possible through the free Pomodoro timer app. Uh, huh, th th this, this is a scary one, guys. You can copy a garage key. So like many devices, including phones and laptops, the Flipper Zero can be put to improper use. Uh, so that it can copy radio, it can copy the radio frequency transmitted by something like a garage door key. However, there are valid reasons for wanting to duplicate a key like this. Maybe you want to spare if your original gets lost, or maybe you want to get easy access to the garage of a parent or a friend without having to order another remote. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Number four, you can control your television. The Flipper Zero is perfectly happy copying infrared IR signals such as those produced by the remote for your television or your stereo or anything else that uses an IR remote. If your remote is dying you need and you need a spare or you just want to play a prank or two on the rest of the family, you can use the Flipper Zero. It's as simple as recording and storing infrared signals from your remote ready to be repeated as needed. You can also create an NFC business card. Another standard Flipper Zero supports is NFC, which is near field communication. And one of the ways you can use this is to create your own NFC business card. People you meet would have to tap their phone on your Flipper Zero and your contact details would pop up on their device, ready to be added to their contacts list. You can even store multiple business cards if you want with different uh, people. Next, we have get into your digital account. Suppose you don't already have two-factor authentication set up on your various digital signals. In that case, you should get this in place as quickly as possible. It is much safer than relying solely on your password to keep unwelcome visitors out. For those accounts that support using a physical device in addition to a password, the Flipper Zero can do the job. It shouldn't take long to get the device authorized and you get some extra peace in mind in return. Uh, next, we have uh, set up a metronome. We encourage you to check out the list of apps available for Flipper Zero as they cover various categories and functions and show off the device's capabilities. Unfortunately, we can't mention them all right i can't mention them all on the list but to give you just one example the metronome app can ensure you're keeping time uh there are simple controls on the screen for controlling and adjusting the speed of the metro metronome you can also go through a slideshow no not powerpoint you guys uh at your next business presentation meeting you can you know, you can make sure all of your colleagues or clients can see your geek credentials by using the Flipper Zero as a remote to advance the slide that you've put up on the screen. The number, there are a number of ways to go about this depending on the hardware and software involved in the setup. And you may well find that your pocket device works more reliably than the default presentation controller that you might have. Because, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I'll be using them busted Amazon type, you know what I'm saying, them busted Amazon droids. So, uh, lastly, we have simulate a keyboard. To the geeky uses for this device go on and on. If you set up a small computer based on the Raspberry Pi platform, then the Flipper Zero can be used as a USB or Bluetooth keyboard to, to input text in it, right? You can use that. So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Also hit the notification bell and share this content so we can have this conversation at a global scale. Uh, do you oppose? Do you have another opinion? Let me know. Uh, please stay safe. See you on the next video.